Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. This is going to be a video about how to get to the beach in Bermuda, particularly Horseshoe Bay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a voiceover over these uh, shots that you're seeing. So you'll just notice that we've just walked right off the ship there. And then this is actually the uh, cruise terminal area, I guess you would call it. Now, uh, simply just walk off. You'll see the photographers there as we walk past. And then just here on the left, this pink building is actually the security checkpoint where you get on and off the ship. Uh, actually, interestingly, I kind of walked past because I was following everybody. And you'll see right now as the shop jumps, where I've actually kind of walked back and gone through this little terminal here. Basically, coming back, you'd have to show your ID and your sail and sign card or your ship's card from a different cruise line, maybe. And then you walk to the right. When you get off in Bermuda, it's very laid back and very casual. There isn't really anybody there hounding you or hoarding you to uh, go anywhere or do anything or sell you anything. So this is actually Royal Navy Dockyard. They also call it King's Wharf. So this is actually one of three different places where ships dock in Bermuda. Most of the larger ships all dock here at King's Wharf. Uh, just looking back here at the ship, this is actually the Carnival Horizon. And this was actually the first visit the ship made to the port. So I uh, decided to get off and head to the beach. And I've been here lots and lots of times, particularly on ships that do overnights. So there's a lot more time to do things when you're on an overnight stop in Bermuda. Uh, so you just walk along here, uh, just coming up ahead on the right. You might see a little building and we're going to pass it a little in a little bit. It's actually a place where you can actually buy uh, ferry tickets to take you over to Hamilton. So obviously for this video, we're going to go to Horseshoe Bay, the beach. I was going to be very honest here, I think that, that's actually the ship right there, that probably around about 70 or 80 percent of people all go to this one beach because it's very famous for the pink sand and a lot of people want to go there to take photos, to hang out at the beach, it's so nice, it's a very calm beach, it's not, there's no waves, it's not uh, particularly rough seas at all, it's very calm. So I'm actually going to go to the beach by taking one of the, I guess, shared ride minibuses. They're kind of Toyota coasters or Toyota 12-seater vans that take you over there. Now actually, for the example of this video, I paid $7 per person one way. You can pre-purchase return tickets as well, but I actually just paid the driver when we got there. Not sure, sort of knowing how I was going to get back. This is actually the little place here where you can buy the bus and ferry tickets if you're going to take the public buses. So these buses right here are all the different types of buses that will take you all to Horseshoe Bay. Pretty much everybody right where I am in this little footage here are all going to the same beach. Now, kind of funny story. Now, you'll see me here follow this guy. And he was ready to get me on in the bus and head off. And then I asked him, I said, oh, I'm just going to pull back a little bit and take another couple of shots of us getting into the buses. And when I went to go back to get in the bus, he said, oh, the bus is full. Sorry, catch another bus. <laughs> so that's why I kind of cut it out of the shot but here I am just looking around at all it does look a little bit chaotic but it is kind of organized chaos I would say there the key is for each driver to fill a bus as quick as he can and then head off to the beach obviously and then this lady right here on the right was quite funny uh, I kind of cut it out as well uh, this is the last bit of me just getting in the front here and sitting with the driver but she was sort of sitting there and obviously waiting for more people to come and it took time for that bus to fill. And then she got upset about how hot it was sitting in the minibus. She was probably there five minutes. And then actually as I was filming, uh, she told me, oh, don't shoot my children. I don't want my film my children on camera, which I understand. But, you know, I just said to explain to her, look, I'm filming a video for I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. A nice shot of the ship there, by the way. And I was making a video about how to get to the beach. So here we are driving off now, so we've got a full bus. Uh, this is actually the Royal Naval Dockyard. There actually is a beach, uh, not here on the right, it's over behind these walls. And there's actually a beach bar and like a restaurant there, and they call it Hammerheads. So you could actually walk yourself, uh, it's a little bit further up on the right, behind that orange building that we just passed. That's the ferry that takes you over to Hamilton, if you're going to take a ferry over there yourself. Again, you can buy tickets to go over there. So there's a few little shops here on the right-hand side as we're passing. Not too many souvenir shops. It's very uh, simple there in Bermuda. 
you know, the beach to go to the local one on the right here. You just turn route down that street and walk another few minutes. And Hammerheads, I'm not sure what the name of the beach is called, but if you don't want to go on a bus to the beach and you just want to go to a public beach nearby, there is an entry fee for that beach, by the way. Um, but if you don't want to take a bus anywhere, it does get very crowded because pretty much everyone that doesn't go to Horseshoe Bay goes to that beach there. That's the public bus we're just passing there. And that basically goes from the Naval Dockyard all the way to Hamilton and then on to St. George. It does take a little bit longer to go on the public bus because it does stop uh, bus stops to pick up people, drop off people. Uh, here on the right is the other shopping area in Kings Wharf. It has like a, like a walk-through sort of very small shopping mall with little kind of kiosk sort of shops. You'll see them again on the right-hand side here. I think it's called Clock Tower Shops or Bell Tower Shops. I can't remember the name, sorry. Uh, we're just now just about to leave out of the terminal. You'll see on the right there that little boat. That was actually one of the America's Cup uh, boats that they sailed here in uh, the America's Cup racing in uh, Bermuda. And this is the last part of leaving the terminal here. The scene will jump a little bit in a second. And I've sped it up as well. We're not going to see the whole trip there. But it is a very picturesque kind of drive over to the beach. I've sped this up a little bit. I was trying to be creative in making this video, but I didn't film the whole way there. But it's kind of cool just to see the roads. We're actually on the left-hand side, you'll see, being a British island. All the traffic's on the left-hand side of the road. People do rent scooters as well in Bermuda. You'll see a few going past. Uh, this particular day that we went there, we were back on board for 4.30 p.m. So it was a short day there in terms of what you're going to plan to do that day. So yeah, you just have to gonna decide what am I going to do. Am I going to go to Hamilton? Am I going to go to the beach? Am I going to rent a scooter? So this is the last part now where we actually turn down the street to go to the beach. So this is kind of interesting to point out. Uh, just before we turn right, you'll see ahead there on the left, the bus stop. That's where the public bus would drop you off, right there. We're just gonna turn right here in traffic. And obviously being a taxi or a rented car, that's gonna take us down there, a minivan. He's gonna drop us off right at the beach, but this is the actual footpath that you'd walk down if you took the public bus. It's probably about a 10 minute walk kind of easy going there because it's all downhill you'll see the bit of a slope in a second but then on the way back up it's all uphill if you are going to do the public bus there and back you do save a few dollars by using the public bus but the walk up and down this hill you'll see how it's like a wooden decking you'll see people just coming down the steps there they'll have caught the public bus to the beach and they're heading there to the same place we are so they might have got off a bit earlier but they haven't really gained anything time wise so this uh, minibus, you'll see some of them leaving ahead there as well. Pretty much everybody goes from the ship to the beach and then from the beach back to the ship. So most of these leaving now are all probably going back empty. And back to the ship to pick up another load. We're just following this little truck here, but we pull in on the left here in a minute. This is almost going to be towards the end of the video here. There's a couple more minutes. But you'll see where we'll pull up. You'll get out of the bus right there and actually to come back to the ship Pretty much where we drop off here, you'll see the other white bus just ahead. That's another bus that's just dropping off. And you'll see me swing around in a second in the next shot. And this is the exact place where you pick back the bus up to come back to the ship as well. So it's pretty easy when you come back, you just walk back towards this little pickup point here. You'll see where these yellow cones are. And these are the buses unloading. And then this is where you'd load back in again. Generally on the way back, there's a bit of a line sort of forming because the buses may not be all waiting on the side of the path there, so a bus will fill and leave. You'll see people just mingling around looking for another bus to come back. Some people are already coming back to the ship, which is kind of crazy. They kind of come early, they only spend an hour, and then they go back. Now this is the, the footpath going down to the beach here. You'll see on the right-hand side the toilets and change rooms. There's a place there where you can wash your feet, so if you've come back from the beach, you can wash the sand off before you get in the minibuses. And then on the right hand side here is also the little takeaway food place. It does get really busy. It's a very just basic food, hot dogs, hamburgers, chips, cool drinks. And there is a bar there on the right. This is kind of where my video will end and then there'll be some still shots coming up. So you just literally walk yourself to the beach and then here you are. You know, this is Horseshoe Bay, the very famous pink sand beach in Bermuda. I hope you've enjoyed this little video of how to get there. And obviously you know now how to get back. And coming up in a second will be some stills, which I took myself. You'll see all the beach umbrellas. It's kind of crazy how many umbrellas are there. It's pretty much 
I would say a few thousand people there at the beach. We walk all the way down past the umbrellas, and this is actually our spot that we had right here, where it kind of thins out with people a little bit, so it's a little bit uh, less congested. You'll see looking back up the beach there how busy it is, and then it gets a lot quieter here. And if you keep walking just past these rocks, and then you'll see all the people just sort of lazing around, mostly taking photographs and selfies and uh, Instagram photos, I guess. So uh, I hope you've liked this walk around and how to get to the beach and back again. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel. If you're a return visitor, thanks for coming back to watch another video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, click subscribe. Click the notification bell of new videos. And I hope you uh, like this video. Let's look at all the sun umbrellas right there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a nice day. And I hope you get a good chance to go to the beach and enjoy yourself.